Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I've already reviewed the uh, Incipio Atlas for iPhone 5 a few months back. But they just released the Incipio Atlas ID, which has been designed specifically for the iPhone 5S. And the main reason for that is because of Touch ID, um, they do need to make it so that your thumb or fingerprint can actually be registered on the home button. So what they have to do is figure out a way to cover the home button uh, keep the case waterproof and still allow you to use the fingerprint sensor. So um, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this. Now like the Atlas, it's very protective. It's got glass on the front. It's not plastic. It's not uh, bendy. It's really durable. It's really clear. And it means that you can see everything on your screen and it's still as responsive as it was. Now what's interesting about this is if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see it's got this kind of membrane you can see it's still covered, there's no hole there, it's still covered where your home button is. It's got kind of like a thin membrane which will still keep all the water and the dust out, um, but it will still let you use your Touch ID sensor. Um, so I'm going to pop my iPhone in and we'll have a quick look and I'll show you how that actually works. Because one thing I did say always with the Atlas, um, the original Incipio Atlas, it was one of my favourite, if not my favourite, protective case for the iPhone 5 not just because it was made of glass but that was just that was just a part of it um, it's durable it's really thin it's lightweight it's not massively bulky but it's still protective and if you buy the US version uh, it comes with a one year limited warranty that covers accidental damage on your device now the Atlas ID is the same the American version with that one year guarantee or warranty uh, cost $89.99 the international version sadly doesn't come with that guarantee or warranty and it costs $10 less. Um, so I'm going to pop my iPhone in, really easy to put in. I'll pop my the back of the case on, it kind of just clips into place. There are a few tabs all the way around the edges. And that's on. To seal it up, again it's the same, you pop the little rubber stopper inside the headset jack cover and then you place the bottom part on. And then that's all sealed. So you can see it's still slim, it's still protective. It looks almost identical to the old version. But the home button kind of feels a bit odd, but that's okay. It's kind of got this weird membrane over it and I'd rather have that and have it be waterproof than it feel really great and my phone get wet. But I'll show you how this works now. I've got my fingerprints obviously registered. If I put my thumb across the membrane, you'll see it unlocks straight away. It almost feels a bit like magic and it does it every single time, pretty much. It's done it three times in a row, let's go for four. Try again, there we go. So that's not bad, <laughs> three out of four first time round. Um, but it is really good and you can see from just using my finger on it now, it is pretty responsive. Um, I don't need to really mess around or wait for it to kind of respond to my finger. Obviously if it gets wet on the screen, if you get it in water, that does affect uh, how responsive the screen is, but that's pretty normal for this kind of case. Now, if you want to buy one of these for your iPhone 5S, I do highly recommend these. They are fantastic cases. Uh, they're available from incipio.com. Uh, I'll leave a link to this product and the international one in the description box, and they don't just come in black either. You can get a white, grey, or pink versions of this case. I cannot stress to you how much I love these cases, but that's enough from me. If you want to ask me any questions at all about this or any apps or accessories or anything I've reviewed, or even if you want to know how to do something on your iPhone, I am on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam, and I will see you again soon.